On this episode of The Hall, we give budget-minded F-150 owners my list of the first five mods you can do for under 500 bucks. So you just got your hands on a 2015 or newer F-150, and if you're like most enthusiasts out there, you're probably looking to do that first modification. However, the problem is, if you spent a bunch of money on the new truck, you might not have all that much to spend on your round of mods. Well, if that's the case, this video is gonna be for you. We're gonna show you our first five mods for under 500 bucks, ranging from suspension, functionality, and even performance. If you like what we're doing here at AT, be sure to subscribe for more. But in the meantime, let's get to our first mod. First up, let's talk suspension. And honestly, in the world of suspension, things get very expensive very quickly. However, there's one mod that tends to peg the bang for your buck meter, and that is a strut spacer leveling kit. Now, the kit we went with for this video is the Supreme Suspension's two and a half inch leveling kit. And I like this because it's made from 100% billet aluminum, built right here in the USA, and they even throw in a bottle opener for your favorite adult beverage. Now, leveling kit has its pros, right? It's gonna give the truck a more leveled appearance, which a lot of truck owners really dig. It's also gonna make for a little bit more ground clearance and allow for some bigger meats underneath your truck if you wanted to upgrade. Unfortunately, a new wheel and tire combo doesn't fall in that $500 or under category, so we are sticking with the factory setup here, the 20-inch STX wheels, which look great. And honestly, guys, a two and a half inch level is the sweet spot for me. It's just enough to perfectly level out the truck, but if you get to the three inch or above, those CV angles tend to get a little bit gnarly. That's not the case here when you stick to two and a half inches. So again, that strut spacer design is gonna be one of the most easy and affordable ways to change the altitude of that 2015 and newer rig and make for some better appearance in the process. Our next modification might not be a necessity in the eyes of some owners because let's face it, most factory trucks do offer a factory running board. However, it's a very popular area to upgrade. So as such, I went with my personal favorite option here for these rigs and that is the Barricade HD Steel Running Board. Now these things, besides being functional, just look awesome. I think they take the popular and let's face it, slightly tired design or recipe for running boards and just kind of kicks it up a notch and adds a much more aggressive look to the truck, even though it's a pretty subtle modification. You're getting a very burly carbon steel construction throughout guys, traction surfaces here for both the front and rear passengers, in addition to a textured black powder coat. So besides just adding a nice wide step for you guys entering or exiting your truck, they look sharp and they fit the bill at right around 270 bucks. All right guys, so we've talked suspension, we've talked functionality with those running boards. Let's move into performance. And for that, I selected the Roush cold air intake system for our five liter rig. Now, cold air intakes in general are basically modding 101, right? It's a place where a lot of enthusiasts start because they're pretty affordable and more importantly, they're super easy to install. And on top of that, you're gonna be picking up some power and picking up a little bit more sound under the hood. The Roush in particular here, I'm a big fan. Why? Well, I'm a less is more guy, and this is a very factory looking cold air, and it's gonna be packing some of the benefits of an aftermarket system. For one, 31% less restriction when compared to your factory air box. Less restriction typically means more power, and that is the case here with the Roush. Secondly, this is a no tune required piece, so you can bolt this thing up without the use of a tune and be good to go and make some more power. It's a dry filter, and best of all, it doesn't need to be washed or cleaned for up to 100,000 miles. So a lot of you guys out there might not be a big fan of changing out the factory airbox, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. However, with something like this, you're going to basically install it and forget about it for 100K. I'm sure you're going to want to check it from time to time, but Roush claims you're not going to need to clean this thing for up to 100,000 miles unless you live in a really dirty or dusty area. And for right around 370 bucks, it falls right in line with our five mods for under 500 bucks. We've got two more to go. We're moving in the back for this next one, so let's go check it out. Next up, we have a must-have modification for truck owners out there, at least in my opinion, and that is some sort of tonneau cover. 
Now to keep in line with this particular video, we did select the Truxedo Edge soft rolling cover here, which lands you right around the mid $400 price level. Now with covers like this, guys, let's face it, they tend to get very expensive very quickly, so to have something for south of 500 bucks is huge. And listen, it's gonna do the job, and it's gonna be a lot more user-friendly than, say, one of those snap covers, which you can grab also on the site, save yourself some money, but they're not as user-friendly. Truxedo does a great job of keeping things budget friendly, but still kicking in some quality materials. They have this thick leather-like grain material or vinyl material, they call it UV resistant. They throw in some horizontal supports here, so it's gonna keep the cover nice and taut, even if you get some snow or water on this thing. And it does have manual adjusters for the tension as well. So guys like us here in the Northeast, you get those hot summers, the cover tends to loosen up a little bit. You can tighten things up a little bit. Or in the winter time, when the material tends to tighten up, you can loosen it up, just make it a lot easier to operate. And listen, if you're a family man like myself, you haul the family around, chances are you got the stroller in the back, luggage, whatever. It's just a great way to keep rain, whatever elements off of your stuff. In addition to keeping prying eyes from grabbing whatever is in the back of your bed. Sure, they're not gonna offer the level of protection as a hardcover would, but it's better than having nothing at all. And honestly, guys, very simple operation here with the Truxedo Edge. One finger, you can roll this puppy up and out of the way. So if you do need to utilize your entire bed at a moment's notice, roll it up against the window. And best of all, it's not gonna block the vision coming out of your rear window like a tri-fold would. So all together, guys, again, a must have in my opinion. I just think a tonneau cover is one of the first things truck owners should do because they are so damn useful, especially if you haul the family around all the time. But we have one more modification to show you guys. It's underneath the truck, so we're gonna get this thing on the lift and check that thing out. And final modification might be more appealing to some owners than others, depending on your engine choice, of course, but it's still a very popular area to modify. And of course, I am talking about an aftermarket exhaust system. Now, for the purposes of this video and keeping things south of 500 bucks, we opted for the MBRP installer series system, and here's what it sounds like. Now, if you have a five liter truck like our lead foot gray option here in the shop, this should probably be the very first thing you do because it just sounds so darn good here on this five liter power plant. However, that being said, EcoBoost guys still can get some kicks out of turning things up a little bit. And honestly, the MBRP is a great choice for, again, looking to stick to a tight budget. The problem in the exhaust world is that things get very expensive very quickly once you look into those very fancy materials like stainless steel. Now the installer series, its goal is to be budget friendly. So you're gonna be getting aluminized steel in place of that stainless, not a bad material. It just doesn't carry the long-term durability like a full stainless option would. And as such, you're not getting a long-term warranty out of the installer series. But with that being said, you are getting three inch mandrel bent tubing throughout the straight through muffler, aluminized steel tubing, but you are also getting a stainless steel tip. And honestly, that's the important thing, right guys? Because this is the part you're gonna be seeing the most. So if the rest of the system gets a little surface corrosion over the years, no biggie, as long as that tip remains looking good. So if you're looking to upgrade your exhaust system for south of 500 bucks, check out the installer series stuff from MBRP. It's a great bang for your buck option here on the site. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed our first five mods for under 500 bucks. Again, this is just a great starting point for owners out there who might not have a massive budget to blow on fancy new parts. But as always guys, these are just merely a few suggestions. So if you're not in love with any of our picks in this video, feel free to check out the rest of our selection here at AT. In the meantime, I'm Justin, thanks for watching. And for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.